Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing a viewer requested video talking about the cheapest items from each luxury brand. And obviously there are a lot of luxury brands so I can't cover everything, but we're gonna hit Dior, Hermes, Fendi, YSL, Tiffany, Yerman, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Burberry, I think that I'm forgetting a couple, oh Versace, Prada, so, let's get into it. So, we're going to be moving through this list pretty quickly, as there's not a ton to say about these items. I mean, they are what they are. You're going to see what I mean. I did make one caveat for myself, and that is that... I had to be able to use the item on its own, so I didn't want it to be like a brush where you had to have makeup to use it or something like that. So that is just the one little restriction that I put on myself, and like I said, we're going to go through this real fast. So first up, I'm going to hit Hermes and Dior because they have a very similarly priced item that is their cheapest item, and that is going to be soap. So for Hermes, they have a um, circle of soap that you can use as hand soap at $26, and it smells like their Twilly perfume. And then Dior at $27 has a J'adore circle of soap and that smells like that scent of perfume. So you get that signature scent from the house as well as being able to have something that's actually usable and consumable as well. Now, some people might not like the fact that it's consumable. I think that's pretty neat. Um, from what I've heard, these both smell absolutely wonderful and they make great gifts. Now, a another pairing that's very similar is going to be Chanel and Gucci. For both of them, their cheapest item is going to be their nail polish, and both of them will sell their nail polish at $30. Now, I personally have the Chanel nail polish, um, my mother also has it, and we both think that it is wonderful. It is super long-lasting, very durable, and absolutely gorgeous colors. There is probably a color for everyone if you like reds, pinks, and purples. Now, if you are not a red, pink, and purple person, check out Gucci's because they have like greens, blues, peaches, and so they have more variety in their colors. Now, some of these other houses have the nail polishes as well, but they are not their cheapest item and that is what this video is about today. And then my final pairing, but not my final items on this list, are going to be Louis Vuitton and Fendi. For both of these houses, their books are going to be their cheapest item. For Louis Vuitton, it's between $25 and $37 to get one of their special city guides. And what these are is it's a collection of articles, recommendations, places to eat, places to shop, places to stay, things to do. And from what I've heard, they're actually very good. Um, I have not seen one personally. They have a wide range of cities to choose from. Some of the major cities, of course, but also some of the cities that might not be your first thought. So not necessarily just your Rome's, London's, and Paris's. And then Fendi's book is the seven is, and then Fendi's book is Your Seven Ways to Rome, spelled R-O-M-E, like the city, as they are an Italian brand. And so that is also a fun little book that you can pick up. I personally love books. In probably about two months, I'll have a couple videos out reviewing all of my variety of coffee table and luxury themed books. Now, next, let's hit jewelry companies with Tiffany and Company, the cheapest item that you're going to get is going to be their silver cleaning and polishing items. So that goes down to $10 from a polishing cloth up to $35 for a polishing set. Now I know that I said that these had to be things that stood on their own, but as you can use this with any type of sterling silver, whether it be 
whether it be spoons, serving wear, or jewelry, and it doesn't necessarily just have to be Tiffany jewelry. Their cleaners are very nice, as are their polishing cloths. It is my preferred polishing cloth to use on all of my sterling silver jewelry from Yerman and from Tiffany. And then from David Yerman, the cheapest item is going to be starting at $165, and that's one who wanted their box chains in both my personal luxury jewelry collection as well as my men's luxury jewelry collection that's a combination of my husband, brother-in-law, and father-in-law's luxury items is going to be several different thicknesses and lengths of the box chain. But you can get these chains starting at 165, wear them by themselves, add pendants to them, anything you wanna do. Now, the last four items that I'm going to talk about today are going to be, I'm going to call them like lifestyle and accessory items. So first up is going to be from Prada and that is going to be one of their metal 350 milliliter water bottles. It just says Prada on the bottom. This comes in a black as well as a stainless steel version. And if you go up and price some, you get more color options, bigger sizes, more of a variety. But this is just sort of the standard introductory water bottle at $85. <laughs> so very expensive for a water bottle. Um, but if you want the cheapest item from Prada, there you go. Now, similarly, a very expensive, probably for what it is, item is going to be from Versace and that is going to be their hand towel. This is a single small hand towel that has the Medusa pattern going along a ribbon as well as Versace embroidered into the towel pattern. And this comes in a white option and a black version. It's $75 for a hand towel. Now with both Prada and Versace, I think that it is worth noting that these stores do both have outlets, so there are things like pouches, umbrellas, different accessories you can get in the outlets for between $50 to $100, but I'm focusing just on the regular store as not everyone has access to the outlets. That being said, you can find great sales and great deals on particularly these two brands in their outlets. Um, places like Gucci, YSL, you're not necessarily going to be able to find as good of an item. And speaking of YSL, they're next up on the list and their cheapest item is going to be a candle. They have, I believe, three different scents in this candle. They're all black candles, black exterior, a black lid with YSL on it. And those candles come in at $72 for a candle. For me, going to Bath & Body Works on Candle Day and getting those candles is expensive for a candle. But if you want a really bougie candle, there you go. And that is going to be your cheapest item from YSL. And then finally from Burberry, the cheapest item is actually technically in the children's section, but I definitely think that it works for adults as well. And that is going to be a hair scrunchie in their archive beige pattern coming in at $65. So that wraps up my cheapest items list. Maybe you wanna get one of these items as just a little treat for yourself. Maybe you're wanting to get it as a gift for someone. I know that my friends and I typically stick around a $30 budget for things like Christmas. And so there are quite a few items that fall within that on this list. Maybe you want to get several of these items and put them together so you can give a variety of items or you can get yourself a variety of items as well. So if one of these items is something that you are going to be purchasing soon, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Bye!